I swear, like every single year, my friends and family members are always like, have you heard this new diet? There's this new diet out. My coworker, sister's aunt lost this much weight on this diet. Guys, come on. What's going on? It's your boy, Louis Pichot. You know how we do? Welcome to Bring Shreds, where I'm here to get you fit. One meal at a time. Of course, before we get to today's topic, I gotta show you what I eat. After all, this is a fitness channel. All right guys, so check this out. I'm all about working out, fitness, you know how we do. So right here I have 96.4 lean ground beef. And right here is an egg, you know, for them healthy fats. On top of here, I have diced potatoes. And drizzled on top is sugar-free ketchup. So each three of these, I use onion powder, no, garlic powder, pepper, and uh, the Italian uh, seasoning. So what is that? Oregano, parsley, all the green stuff, thyme. It's spelled thyme, but it's pronounced thyme. Over here, I have an apple. I swear I cut this like five minutes ago and it's already turning brown. So uh, yeah, it's not old. It's just uh, the air, you know what I'm saying? And right here, I have one serving of dried dates. I always talk about this. I used to be a huge fan of sour candy, but I switched over to dried fruits. So I still get that sweetness that satisfies my cravings, you know what I'm saying? But if you guys can tell, ever since I switched, I'm acne free since 93. Oh, and to wash it down, I have Sam Pellegrino's Sparkling Natural Mineral Water. I'm a huge fan of sparkling water just because if you guys watch my previous videos, I drink a lot of diet sodas because it's zero calories. But the more I think about it, as I get older, fake sugar, that can't be good for you, right? So I've always been a fan of sparkling water, but I drink this mainly now. And if you don't like sparkling water, just drink regular. Nothing wrong with that. So today's topic is why I think fat diets don't work. And you guys might be wondering, what kind of diet am I on right now since I'm eating pretty healthy, right? Let me explain. All right, first guys, let's get the 96.4 lean ground beef. So you guys might be also be wondering, should I do 96.4? So I've always been a huge fan of it just because it's like lower in fat and I always just stuck with that. However, if you want like the 93.7 or the 80.20, it's completely up to you. I just always prefer the 96.4. Lean ground beef, I'm trying to get lean, you know what I'm saying? Come on, let's go. Mmm. To me, it tastes like the same thing as the other ones, but I know some of you guys out there might be picky. Mmm. Oh, let's wash it down with some San Pellegrinos. Oh yeah. oh yeah. So why don't I think fed eyes work? Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I always get coworkers, not classmates, friends, family members. Every single year, right, there's this new fad diet that you have to try out. The one that's popular right now is the uh, animal-based diet. Paul, whatever his last name is, made it really popular. And we'll talk about that a little bit. But I remember when I was working my corporate job back in 27, 2018, keto was really popular. You guys remember keto? But now I think like nobody's really doing it, right? Or like it's less popular. So I haven't heard of anybody doing it. But that's the problem, right? When I was working my corporate job, like everybody was always talking about it. Keto this, keto that. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but any diet that restricts yourself, think about how long you can maintain on this diet. So my boy Omar, big shout out to him. I don't know if you watched my videos. He lost a lot of weight doing keto. Whereas his manager, I forgot her name, she was also doing keto. And not to be uh, mean or anything, but uh, it didn't look like it worked for her. So you might be wondering, how come it worked for Omar, but not his manager? I remember during meetings, she was always talking about like, yeah, at home, I'm doing these keto muffins, this keto cupcake, not cupcakes, but you know what I'm saying? Like it was keto ingredients, but like I said, something like muffins, things like that. I don't know, whatever it was. She wasn't seeing the same results as Omar. Hmm, these potatoes are good. And the reason why, and I could be completely off base just because I don't know what kind of keto she was eating, but from what I remember, Omar was only eating two times a day. He skipped breakfast, he only had lunch, and then I think he said he only had dinner after. So two meals, and it's keto based, right? So think about that, only two meals a day, keto, that means he's not eating any carbs. So my assumption is his calories were very low every single day. Versus a manager, like I said, I don't know what she ate, so I can't really judge. Never judge a book by its cover. But she was talking about like keto muffins, keto, I don't know, pancakes, whatever, right? So is she doing keto, but how much of the keto is she eating? Cause you can eat keto all you want. If you eat too many calories, you're not gonna lose weight. That's just how it is, okay? I'm sorry, secret's out. All right, let's get some of this egg. I'm gonna put it on top of my meat. I'm gonna put it on top of my beef just because when you uh, cut into it, the yolk is gonna pour on top. It's gonna taste good, okay? Oh, there we go. Take a close look, guys. Uh, uh, uh. Now I see. 
Diet doesn't have to be hard, right? Look, it could be delicious too. Just a different kind of delicious. Just not like pizza and stuff, you know? Mmm. So yeah, so that was one point I wanted to make. And then I remember, same company, same position in 2017, 2018. My manager at the time knew us all about fitness and health and all that good stuff. He's like, yo, Lewis, I'm gonna try this thing called the Whole30. You guys know about the Whole30? Exactly. Nobody talks about it no more. See, that's my point. These fat diets, they all come and go. So the Whole30 is very similar to Paleo. And you guys might be wondering, what the heck is Paleo? Paleo is kind of like, it's called the caveman diet. So you're only supposed to eat foods that your ancestors of caveman ate. It's like nuts, berries, meats. And then you can't eat like carbs, not carbs, but like rice because it's like handmade or something. No alcohol, no um, candies, obviously sweets. So yeah, caveman. But the difference with the Whole30 is you only do it for 30 days. That right there, my friends, is a red flag. So basically the Whole30 is supposed to claim to like detox your body. So for 30 full days, you're supposed to get rid of all this junk food and then replace it with healthier alternatives. But then what happens day 31? Do you just go back to your old ways and then gain all the weight back? Sometimes guys, you just gotta think outside the box. Like this doesn't make no sense. So he told me about it and now it's kind of like, okay, cool. So he's like, I can have this, I can have that. I can't have this, I can't have that. And I'm like, okay. I guess my point is guys, what I'm trying to say is these bad guys, they all come and go. 27, 2018 was the whole 30 keto today. As I'm recording this video, the um, animal-based diet is very popular, but check this out, guys. Compare keto back then to the animal-based now. Guys, it's basically the same thing, just repackaged, right? Of course, there's like minor details here and there. Like animal-based is like no seed oils, eat raw butter, raw milk. Keto is more just like all meat, all fats, no carbs, you know what I'm saying? Both have no carbs, but you guys see the similarities? So hey, hey, guys, like I said, this is my opinion only. I'm no doctor, no nutritionist, just a guy that likes to get fit. And then I think back in the 90s, this is how old I am, but what's very popular back then was called the Atkins diet. You guys remember Atkins? And guys, it was basically the same thing as keto. Eat nothing but meat, and then you lose weight. Now, you guys might be wondering, well, how come people go on these diets and they see results? What is it about them and their bodies that they can see results, but then other people don't? And the thing is, like I mentioned earlier, they're all in a caloric deficit. Guys, think about it. When you do keto, when you do uh, animal base, when you do Atkins, it eliminates carbs, right? What's the uh, American diet full of? That's right, carbs, but not these kind of carbs, the bad kind of carbs. I'm talking about potato chips, regular cupcakes, sugary cereals, like uh, what's my favorites? Frosted flakes, cinnamon toast crunch, crackers, and guys, the list goes on and on. Bread, right? And I'm not saying like you can't have those kind of foods and still lose weight because trust me, I have. But the key difference is I weigh out my food. I know how much I'm supposed to have within my caloric intake. The average American doesn't know any of that stuff. So I'm talking about like they're eating bowls of sugary cereal. The fun sized potato chips you get at Costco, they're just like watching TV, snacking away. So when you do hop on these diets like keto, paleo or whatever, right? It eliminates those kind of foods. No, it's not magic. You don't suddenly eat meat only and then your body's like, okay, I'm gonna use this to burn fat, in my opinion, right? I understand ketosis, all that good stuff, but guys, at the end of the day, it's calories in versus calories out. Guys, I've been doing this for such a long time. Trust me on this. Oh guys, before I forget, let's have some of these dates. So these are dry dates. I say this in every video because I have new viewers every day, but make sure when you pick up any dry fruit to look at the ingredients. A lot of them are the dry fruit, but then they also add like other stuff to it, right? One ingredient from the top of my head is always like cane sugar and then um, some other nonsense, I don't know. But the ones I buy just says like dry and then the fruit. So this one is dry apricots. Man, guys, do you guys remember fruit roll-ups? Old school. Mm. But please be careful, two of these is already 110 calories. No, 111, 111. Honestly, I could eat the whole bag, but then again, calories, they do add up. So uh, please be careful. All right, let's get some more of this. Eggs and beef, beef and eggs. Yeah. Mm. I feel like I'm eating Denny's right now. Got the beef, the egg, potatoes. Grand slam, baby. Mm. So if you made it this far, you might be wondering, so what should I do? Well, my friends, I got you. 
And I'll tell you this, like I said, it's all about calories in versus calories out. So I highly recommend to track your calories. If you're in the fitness, track your macros, but to keep it simple for this video, track your calories. I'm gonna use me for example. If I eat roughly around 2,500 calories a day, I'm not gonna gain weight, I'm not gonna lose weight. If I eat below 2,500, I'm gonna lose weight. If I eat above it, I'm gonna gain weight. You guys see guys? Adding and subtracting, math baby. So you might be wondering, I don't know my calorie intake, what should I do? Well, lucky for you, I have a free calorie calculator. Go to brainstress.com slash tools. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Just type in your info and you'll be good to go. So with that being said, like I said, you can do keto, paleo, whole 30, animal based. If you eat above your maintenance calories, unfortunately guys, you are gonna gain weight. So that's why I use Omar as my example, because even though he did keto, he only had lunch and dinner. And because he's doing paleo, he's not eating potato chips, french fries, ice cream, right? All that's carbs, you can't have it on a keto diet. So it really restricted his calories of what he can and can't have. Now, why do I like tracking calories and I don't really follow these fad diets? It's because I can have food like this, but also I can go out with my friends, hang out, grab dinner, maybe get some wings at Applebee's. As long as I know how many calories are in those wings and how many calories I have left throughout the day, I'm good to go. So you might be wondering, if I can have wherever I want, as long as I track my calories, why am I eating so healthy? Why am I not eating burgers, fries, pizza? You know, the good stuff. And I'll tell you why. This has nothing to do with fat diets, but as you get older, like I am, I decided to go for a more whole foods diet. Does that mean I'm on a fat diet? No, it just means I'm eating healthier. Why is that? Even though I've been doing this for 10 plus years, lost weight eating burgers, pizza, because I tracked all my calories right, I have a food scale, I weighed it out, I was still breaking out. And ever since I switched to a whole foods diet like this, protein, healthy carbs, healthy fats, my skin guys cleared right up. Look at this. Like I said, I haven't had a pimple for a while. Uh, knock on wood, because uh, I know once I say that, the next day I'm gonna wake up like, oh, what the heck? So yeah, anyways, you can still lose weight and eat the foods you love. Obviously, everything in moderation, right guys? That's why I always preach moderation, not deprivation, because life is too short, right? Like, your friends are gonna wanna hang out. You're not gonna be that guy that's like, oh, I'm on this uh, paleo diet. Sorry guys, uh, I can't go out. Uh, maybe another time. You know, you wanna be that friend, right? The last thing you wanna do is miss out on memories with your loved ones. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. And I know some of you guys are thinking right now, track my calories, weigh out my food. Oh God, I don't wanna do all that. That's so much work. Hey, hey, hey guys, I understand. I know exactly what you mean. But I always say this, at least do it for two weeks. Do it for two weeks and guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna be like, oh my God, Louis, you're totally right. I've been eating these box of crackers that says, fat free and gluten free, but I've been eating the whole box this whole time. And I was wondering, how come I didn't lose weight? And it's because when you're tracking, you can see like exactly how many calories you can put in your body. I know, I know, right? Again, guys, bringthestress.com slash tools. I don't wanna make this video too long, but one final thing. I know a lot of you guys, maybe watching this video right now are kind of like not on the healthiest diet. I understand, that's why I clicked on this video. And I know it's very common, especially around like New Year's, you know, like, uh, what's it called? New Year's resolutions. This year I'm gonna get back in shape. I'm gonna cut off ice cream, pizza. What else is really delicious? <laughs> Chocolate. And I'm gonna only eat carrots and celery. Guys, not only is that not a way to live, it's very unsustainable. That's the word, unsustainable. Whereas if you track your calories, by the way, this is all weighed out. You can still have the foods you love in moderation. So I like the 80-20 approach. 80% of my foods comes from whole foods, lean meats, fruits and veggies, and then 20%, I leave it up to when I go out and eat with my friends. Does that make sense? So guys, I know you can do it. Don't fall for this fat diet trap because I promise you next year, there's gonna be a new fat diet. You know, instead of keto, it's gonna be the Cheeto diet. You guys know Cheetos? Damn, I miss Cheetos.